There was a boy named N. Brown. He loved food. He loved to learn. He was a very likable person. He was so likable that when he was born, the doctor looked at him and said, I like this kid. Class, this is our new student, Egan Howard. Let's welcome him. The day was off to a long and boring start, and N hadn't eaten all day. There wasn't anything good to eat in his dorm room, so N had the brilliant idea to make brownies. Ooh, smell good. That's good too. What are you doing up there? Don't worry about what I'm doing up there, man. I'm flying. Y'all get a breath, man. Go get one on the stove. Alright. Man, these brownies is off the chain, man. We can make money off this. Let's do it. I'm down with it. On this brownie uh, mix, out of day. They made so much money, they decided to throw a party. So they did. No, man, I don't want to come through. What about you? Don't worry about that, man. Oh, man. Bitch, I get enough for you. I bet you don't. Nelani O'Hare. One of the best looking girls in the school. She was, what's a nice way to say it? Ditsy. I'm looking at you across the room. Cause you caught my eye. I know you're looking back at me. So don't you lie. I'm gonna. 
gonna come over now. Over now. So please don't leave. Don't leave. Like to get to know you better, and I wanna help you see. I wanna be your man. That's Jake Jackson. He and Nalani went to the same school growing up. Brownie guy? Yeah, I'm the Brownie man. Income with this special recipe, man, we're making thousands of dollars. Can I have one? For you? Well, I'll tell you what. I hook you up on a little for $20. $20? You were selling them earlier for five. Between me and you, give me 10. I'm going to add alligator shoes when I see them. All right, then. Well, I see you, the punk friend back there. Can I get your number? <laughs> it's 555 five, five, 55. Five, five. That's a lot of fives. I can't remember that. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. Now, Mrs. Jackson was a deadly combination of dominance, intelligence, and arrogance. She was a little on the short side, but aside from her minor shortcoming, she made up for it by being filthy rich and showing it off every chance she got. She was the CEO of a major baking company called, oh my goodness. You gotta try these brownies. There's these guys selling these on campus today. And it was making a small fortune doing it. Oh my goodness. If we could find out what was in these brownies and enhance the ingredients, we could sell this to the government. This would come in handy in time of war. Gertie, fetch me my Rolodex. As a scout I gotta find me some goons. I could be getting my hands dirty. Hello? Hello? Yes, I got a job for you. What's up, son? What's up, dude? You think I ain't with you? Yeah, yeah, what's up, Check it out, man. I've been hearing a lot about these brownies. Everybody throwing a fuss, all hypo. I just want to know, son. Can, can we get the recipe? What's up? Can't do it, bro. Nah, not for sale. For real, can we? Can't get the recipe? <laughs> uh. Please? <laughs> Nah, bro. I'm trying to run a legitimate business right here, and you just, you're bad fitting, so get at it. Be going, bro. All right, all right. Like that, huh? It's like that. Tell you what. Call my brother. Call your brother. We have a little talk about this. Talk See what to he him. Say talk about. to him. Hey, how about you call your brother, and I'll call my brother. We can meet up. We can both have a good family reunion. We'll be back. That's what I'm saying. Brownies, come get the brownies. Man, what was that all about? I don't know, man. This some dude was hassling me over my recipe. Did you give it to him? Nope. All right, man. See you later. It's like... Keep going. Mama, the goons failed. How many times have I told you not to talk to me on the phone? Gigi, get my Rolodex. This is Gat Hood. <laughs> Hello? What part of I need this recipe do you not understand? Hey, he said no, Miss Jackson. I mean, what were we supposed to do? You're supposed to find him at night, rough him up, and get that recipe. Alright. Not you guys again. I told you we gonna be back there with you. How y'all gonna disrespect me in front of my girl? Hey. Well, I guess we're gonna do this thing. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. 
Ian proceeds to give them what they need. A whooping. job for you. Cell phone and everything, bro. I gotta pay bills on this thing, bro. But oh, shoot, look, man, what you want, bro? Boy, I ain't gonna just fall on me no more, man. Look, I got your boy and your girl. And I want the recipe right now. Psh, he ain't got them, bro. He ain't got them. What, man? Look, man, y'all gonna tell this boy? They got me, dog. Give me the recipe. That's your fault for getting caught. What? How you get caught in the first place? As big as you is, you know you got a scholarship in football and stuff. Look, don't worry about how they got caught, man. Look, I just want the recipe or they both die. Oh, stuff just got real. All right, where you want to meet at, man? Let's meet Thursday at 3. Third, whoa, wait a minute, hold on, what time? I said 3 o'clock on Thursday, man. Can you not hear? Uh-uh, uh, that's, that's not going to happen, bro. My, my mom be watching me and everything. And she, I got school that day, so it's that that can't go down. Bro. All right, I'll be get your education then. Appreciate it. Look, forget about it then. All right, look, we're gonna do it Friday at three o'clock, no later than four. We'll send you the directions. Come along and no cops. Boy, is you in? Is you in? Yeah. In Brown? Yeah. Oh, check this. I'm Agent Kinnavon, okay? And we hear that you have been in contact with some known criminals named Stacy and Mary. Is that true? How do you know? Well, we teamed up with IBM and they have told us that you have been in contact with them. Oh, really? What's the phrase? No cops. Really? Yes, really. No cops. Yes, you did. And so I was like, what? No, I'm, what? That done messed, messed my house up. Oh, jeez. My remote. Let me go right there, man. That's my girl comes. She can get into me. Oh. I'm not a bad CD. 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 I'm not a bad CD.
got real. It just got real. Man, man, this for you. This is for you. Oh, what's your problem, man? What's up, fat boy? What man I'm station at? Hey, I know what you need when you got an invitation or something. What? Oh, I know. Just give me a listen, fat boy. Yeah, I know what you're gonna do about it, little nigga. You want my invitation? Fat boy, battle, battle. Say, man. Really? Yeah. Really, man? What, yeah. Wait, what you want, man? We need that recipe, man. Why? What you want with the recipe in the first place? It'll help the government, man. Also, the government wants to make super soldiers that's gonna fly. All right, then, man, come here. Come Listen, in. do something for the soldiers, man. Come here, man. I All got right. something good for them soldiers. Come here, right. bro. Come here. What you got? Uh, How about no? No? Uh, Means uh, no. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now who you dad? Mrs. Jackson was investigated by the FBI after discovering her involvement with Marion and Stacy. They discovered she was the kingpin of the bad guy organization. She is sent to prison for treason along with her son Jake as an accomplice. Jake became the first ever male allowed to be with his mama in a women's prison. Miriam and Stacy served six months in a minimum security prison for snitching on Mrs. Jackson. Now they work for the government as spies. Are you in? Let me know, are you in? Yeah. Agent Kenman was found out to be an illegal alien and was deported all the way back to Canada. That's some love. That's some real. The two goons started an inner city ministry. 
They reach out to the underprivileged youth of Rogersville. Cletus became a squad. This is Gertrude. After five years, took over Mrs. Jackson's empire. Nalani broke up with N shortly after this story. She became the Secretary of State. She currently resides in Washington, D.C. After college, Egan found his true calling and became a bounty hunter. Tim blew all his money in two months trying to bring back parachute pants. Another wildly unsuccessful business venture. In now works and resides at Calhoun Community College. He works as a financial advising instructor. Good morning, class. I am Professor Ian Brown. And welcome to Economics 101. Today you're going to learn the do's and don'ts of money. First of all, Never invest your money. Parachute pants. Worst investment of my life. Don't do it. Look at him see him. Where's he at now? No one knows. He's broke. So any questions? Oh stupid name on you, stupid kids, stupid job. Professor Brown, if I could have a moment of your time, would you mind meeting me in the hallway? For what? I need your presence, sir. Yes. This ain't a promotion. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> 